Hey boys, it's Arm Nan. Today we're going to be going over my picks for the top 10 most fun vehicles to have in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now some of these vehicles are going to be fun based on their abilities and what they can do. Some of them are going to be really cheap for the amount of fun that you get and overall all of them are going to be a good time to drive around in Grand Theft Auto Online and sometimes fly. If you guys enjoy this video, a like is of course appreciated. Let's try to hit 5,000 likes on this video like usual. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We're so close to 200,000 subs. And let's go ahead and get started with number 10. Now at number 10, I started off with a super cheap and super obvious option. And this is of course the BMX bicycle coming in at a whopping $800. Now you can do all kinds of fun things on this thing. The most fun that I've ever had on it is by bunny hopping around and doing some tricks with it and stuff like that. Obviously it doesn't go very fast, but you can hit some like crazy combos with this thing, which is super awesome. Overall, the BMX is just amazingly fun for being only $800 and just being a bicycle, a literal bicycle that you can just get in GTA Online. And somehow it's easily one of the most fun vehicles in the entire game. And I bet a lot of you guys have never even owned one in online. So pick up a bicycle if you've never had one. It's a lot of fun. Next up at number nine, we have the Cerberus coming in at $2,910,000 if you have the trade price or $3,870,300 if you don't have the trade price. Now you will need to own an Arena War Workshop in order to actually upgrade this thing with all of its capabilities. Now, the most important thing and the most fun thing of all is that it has a flamethrower on the top of it, which you can use to drive around and set civilians on fire. You can also use it to destroy vehicles as well as many other different things that you can do with the flamethrower. So. It's really, really fun just for that reason alone. However, it also has a bunch of different types of proximity mines that you can drop with it, which allow you to take out vehicles, send vehicles flying, uh, blow vehicles tires out, like all kinds of stuff because it has all the arena war mines on it, which is awesome. And it also has a massive ram on the front of it, uh, which can help you to deflect vehicles out of your way, which is pretty cool. And on top of all of this, it has a bunch of different types of boosts. You can have a shunt boost or you can have a regular boost that will propel you forward. The shunt boost is especially fun. I personally have the regular boost just because I think it's a little more useful generally, but the shunt boost is pretty crazy and it can also jump above all, which is crazy. The Cerberus is a massive vehicle, it's super fun, and it's definitely one that I would recommend owning. Not a lot of people have this thing, and it is an absolute blast to drive it. So that's it for the Cerberus at number nine. Let's talk about number eight. At number eight, we have the brand new Vapid Stanier LE Cruiser coming in at just over three and a half million dollars if you have the trade price. But if you don't have the trade price, it's gonna run you $4,690,000, which is insane. Now, of course, finally, we have a police car in the game and the potential for fun with this vehicle is insanely high, but unfortunately, the price is insanely high too. This thing goes for way too much money, but at the same time, it's just kind of the price you have to pay and it is a lot of fun to own the Vapid Stanier LE Cruiser. Since this thing came out, I've had an absolute blast. Now, honestly, at number eight here, you can sub in pretty much anything that you want. You could sub in the unmarked cruiser as well. If you're watching this in the future, once it's out, the Gauntlet Hellfire Interceptor could also be subbed in here. The Park Ranger Declassy Granger could also be subbed in here. Basically, any police car in GTA Online could be subbed in here. You can use these for roleplay opportunities. You can use them to just pull over civilian cars. You can use them to just drive around. They look really cool. They're fun to have in online. Yes, they're very overpriced, but the fun that you can have with these is insane. So definitely look into getting a police car. It doesn't have to be the Stay in Your LE Cruiser. That's just the one I wanted to suggest in this video because it does have the most customization, at least that I know of at this point. Again, the Gauntlet Hellfire Interceptor isn't out, so I don't know anything about it yet, but yeah. The Vapid Stanier LE Cruiser, a lot of fun. Here at number seven, we have the Grotti Vigilante. I know it's a Grotti vehicle, right? Strange. Coming in at $3,750,000. This thing is insanely fun and extremely miserable at the same time. Maybe that's just because me and my friends use it in Manhunt where we chase other people down with vigilantes and try to take them out with the vehicle. Maybe that's why it's kind of miserable sometimes, but it's pretty cool. It is a Batmobile. 
It has front mounted machine guns, it has really aggressive tracking missiles. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any armor, but it does have an insane rocket booster, which makes it the fastest land vehicle in Grand Theft Auto Online on last gen, whether that's PC, Xbox One, or PS4. The Vigilante is really cool, it's definitely one to look into, it's a lot of fun, and it's definitely something that you don't see people driving a lot anymore in online, so it might be something that you want to consider purchasing. At number six, of course, we have the Ramp Buggy, coming in at $2,400,000 if you have the trade price, or up to just under $3.2 million if you don't have the trade price. This thing just throws cars over itself when you hit them, launching them cartoonishly high and far in the air, which is pretty awesome. It's a classic fun vehicle in GTA Online. This thing's been out for, I don't know, seven, eight years now. So it's getting up there in age, but it still is a lot of fun. It's not the fastest vehicle ever, but it's definitely a very cool one to have. It is something that I would recommend looking into generally. The ramp buggy can definitely be a lot of fun. Next up, of course, we have a motorcycle, the Nagasaki BF400. Now, the reason I've chose this is because it's very cheap, coming in at $95,000, and it's super fun, as well as it's also the fastest off-road class vehicle in the entire game, if you want to do some racing with it. So, it's an overall extremely good vehicle to own. It's super fun to go off-roading in this thing. It's super fun to hit big jumps with it. It's great off-road, it's great on-road. You can wheelie for almost an infinite amount of time. You can also turn it decently well while doing a wheelie as well. So that's handy. Overall, the BF400, definitely a bike that I would recommend looking into. It's good old fashioned, cheap fun. At number four, we have the Oppressor Mark I. I think this vehicle is super fun. It comes in at $2,067,669. Haha. <laughs> or $2,750,000 if you don't have the trade price. Now this thing could be a lot of fun to use to get around. It allows the player to glide through the air after using the rocket booster to launch up. In fact, you don't even need to use the rocket booster to launch up. You can just drive off a ledge with the wings extended and you will be able to glide with this thing, which is pretty cool. You can climb the sides of buildings and you can get around generally very, very quickly on the Oppressor Mark 1. It's a very fun vehicle. It is definitely something that I would recommend. I think you can have a ton of fun with this thing. It also is equipable with missiles if you unlock them through bunker research, so it does have a handy element to it as well. At number three, we have the Scramjet coming in at 3,480,000 to 4,628,400. It has the best tracking missiles in the entire game, and it does have a super long lasting boost, which I do believe is the longest lasting boost in all of Grand Theft Auto Online, which is pretty cool. So it does allow you for some insane, so it does allow you to do some insane boosted uh, drifting and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. I'm sure you guys have all seen the famous scramjet drift video on YouTube. It's got like 3 million views. It's crazy. It's a super cool vehicle. It is based off of the Mach 5 from Speed Racer. So just generally a pretty awesome vehicle. Definitely one that I would recommend looking into. At number two, we have the Toreador coming in at 4 million. $250,000. This thing, I mean, it has a lot of great features generally. It's got a rocket booster, it's got four seats, it is submersible, it does have torpedoes as well as some really aggressive tracking missiles and some high damaging front mounted machine guns. It's a complete blast to own. You can store it in your Kasatka submarine. Uh, obviously, you can go underwater exploring with this. You can use the rocket booster to launch yourself way up into the air. You can put it into submersible mode and go sailing down hills or sledding if you want to. The Torridor has a ton of potential to be a super fun vehicle, and I think it is definitely deserving of the number two spot. At number one, we have the Phantom Wedge coming in at $1,920,000 to $2,553,600. Uh, this thing throws vehicles. It tosses vehicles far and wide. It's crazy. It launches them way up in the air. And the cool thing about it is you don't get cops even if you blow up these vehicles with these people inside of them. So there's almost no repercussions for this as long as you don't run over just civilians walking down the street in the Phantom Wedge. Uh, you'll be fine. So blow up all the vehicles you want with the Phantom Wedge, launch vehicles off a cliff, launch families in vapid minivans off of bridges, plummeting to their deaths. It, it's all good. No cops. Don't worry about it at all, but just don't hit a civilian because that's when the problems will start. In all seriousness, the Phantom Wedge is just an absolute blast. It's super fun to just simply drive down the highway and see how many vehicles you can launch off to the sides. It's surprisingly maneuverable as well, and I think it's just generally a very, very fun vehicle to own in GTA Online. So anyway, guys, there you have it. That has been my list for the top 10 most fun vehicles in Grand Theft Auto Online for 2024. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, a like is of course appreciated. If not dislike, like I said at the start of the video, subscribe to my channel if you guys are new, trying to hit 200,000. 
and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.